Okay, so in this video, I'm going to look at using Bellman's principle of optimality to solve this particular multi-stage problem. Now, just to explain very simply what Bellman's principle of optimality is, let's say you have a point A, and let's say over here you have a point B, and there are various road networks, let's say, between A and B, and you find that the quickest way of getting from A to B is by passing C, so you can go this way and this way here. Well, if this is the optimal route, what Bellman's principle says then that the optimal route from A to C will be this particular route here, and the optimal route from C to B will be this particular route here. So in other words, if this route ACB is the optimal route from A to B, then the optimal route from A to C is this one, and C to B is this one here. So let's have a look at this particular network here that we have. This network here represents a series of roads, and we have a politician who wants to get from S to T by following these arrows here. Let's say these represent one-way streets, and she wants to canvas as many houses as possible. So the numbers here, the weights of each arc, represent the number of houses on each street. So we have a multi-stage network here, and what that means is we can divide the network into these stages here. This would be stage number one, two, three, and four. Now, this is a multi-stage problem because if you take any vertex at each stage, so let's say i, j, and k, they're the same number of arcs leading to t from each vertex or each state. So there's one arc going from i to t, one from j to t, one from k to t. If you look down here at stage two, we've got two arcs going from e to t along here, two going from f to t going in this direction, f i t, f j t, two going from g to t, so g i t, g j t, g k t, and two going from h to t, h, k, t, and so on. It's the same back here. You've got three arcs going from each vertex, and from S then you have four arcs. So this area here is called a stage. The vertices themselves are called states, and each directed arc in the multi-stage uh, network is called an action. So I, T would be an action, J, T would be an action, K, T would be a particular action. Okay, so let's have a look at solving this particular problem. So what we're going to do is find the maximum number of houses that the politician could canvas going from S to T once. So I've started the, the table here. So what I've got here are heading stage, state, action, destination, and value. So we're going to start by looking at uh, stage number one. Now, first thing we're going to do is look at the three states, I, J, and K. So we're going to put I here, J here, and K here. The action that we're going to look at from I will be I to T. So we write that down, I to T. And the destination here is obviously going to be T. J is going to be JT, destination again T, and we've got an action here of KT, destination T. Now it's not absolutely necessary to put in the uh, destination column here, but uh, let's leave it in there for the moment. The values then that we're going to look at for each action are from I to T is 19, from J to T 14, and K to T is 13. So that's our first stage completed. Now, actually, what we need to do as well is just put a little asterisk next to each of these because we're not sure which one is going to represent or be part of the optimal path. So let's uh, just put a line under that and start again with the next stage. So the next stage then is going to be stage number two. And the vertices that we've got there are E, F, G, and H. E, F, G, and H. So let's write those down. So we've got E, F, G, and H. The actions then that we're going to look at are E, I, F, I. So we're going to look at E, I. And the destination here is going to be I. We're going to look at F, I as well. Actually, F is going to two different uh, 
uh, vertices, so it's going to be Fi and Fj. So I've just got to leave a little gap here. So from F we've got Fi and Fj. So let's just write those in. So we've got Fi and Fj. Destinations are I and J. From G then we've got G I, G J and G K. So we've got G I, G J and G K. The destinations again are I, J and K. From H we just have one arc so that goes from H to K. destination k. Okay so let's just go back and put in the values then that we need to put in here. So let's look at ei first of all and we can see that we have a value from e to i of 16 up here. So you've got to include that. So it's going to be 16 plus the value from i to t. So we've got to take this destination here, have a look up here its value was 19, so we're going to add 19 to this. So it's 19 here. That gives us 35 in total. So let's do the same for F. So we've got Fi. So the value of Fi is 7. So we've got to take 7. And again, we're going back up here to I, which was 19. So we've got to add 19, 19 there. So uh, 7 plus 19, 26. Uh, we've got Fj. So the value for Fj is 12. So we've got to take 12. And this time we are uh, ending up at J. So if we look at J up here, its value was 14. So we've got to add 14. If you add 12 and 14, you get 26. Now you've got to put a little asterisk next to these as well. So if we just look at E here, we've only one value, so I'm going to put an asterisk there. If we look at F, we've got two values, these two. They happen to be the same, so I'm going to put an asterisk next to both of those. Let's look at G. We've got G to I. G to I has a value of 5, so we're going to put 5 in here. And then we're going to look at coming back up to I up here. So we look at I. Come over here, we've got 19, so we've got to add 19 to 5. And that gives us a value of 24. We've got GJ. So GJ has a value of 15. So we're going to take 15. And we're going to add the value from the first stage for J which is 14, so we're going to add 14 here, that gives us 29, and then GK, value for GK is 20, so we're going to take 20, and we're going to add the value from K in stage 1, which is 13, so we're going to add 13 here, so that gives us 33. Now, what we're looking for here is the maximum value for G and we can see there that that's going to be 33. So I'll put an asterisk next to 33. Okay, let's just finally then look at uh, H. So we've got H to K and it has a value of 21. So let's take 21 and add the K value up here, which is 13. So 21 plus 13, that's 34. There's only one value there, so I'm going to put an asterisk next to 34. Okay, so that's stage 2 done. Let's have a look at stage 3. This is stage 3. And in stage 3, we've got, let's see, four vertices here. We've got A, B, C, and D. So let's start with A. And A has two arcs going from it, two roads going from A. So we've got AE and AG. So let's do those. So we have AE and AG. 
destinations E and G. Now the values of AE and AG, AE is 16, AG 12. So we've got 16 and 12, 16 and 12. We've got to look back at our previous stage to see what we add on to these. So let's take AE first. So we've got to go E back up to E here and out to its optimal value of 35. So we've got to take 16 and add 35. And that gives us our value of 51. Okay, let's take G then. What we add? Well, if we take G here, let's go up to G here. Its optimal value is actually 33. The largest value there was 33. So we're going to add 33 to 12. And that gives us 45. Okay, so that's A done. We've now got to look at B. So from B, oh, by the way, we need to mark this as well. The largest of these two is 51, so let's put an asterisk there. Okay, so let's look at B then. So B, we've got BE and BF. So let's write those in, BE and BF. And BF, destination E, destination F. So BE, BE has a value of 4, and BF, BF has a value of 7. So let's look at 4 then. First of all, we want to end up at E. So let's come back up to our stage 2, to E. Its optimal value was 35. So we're going to add 35 to 4. 35 to 4, that gives us 39. Let's look at BF. Well, we're going to end up at F, so let's have a look at F here. It, the optimal value for F was 26. So let's add 26 here. If we add 26 to 7, we get 33. Now, we have two values here, 39 and 33. The largest one is 39, so we're going to mark that. Okay, so let's look at C then. C is the next one, so C here. And let's see what, where does, what um, arcs go from C. Well, we've got three here. We've got CF, CG, and CH. We've got CF, CG, and C. C, H. We'll, we're going to end up at F, G, and H. The values then for those three are 13, 5, and 16. So let's see what we add to those then. So 13 is going to be added to the value for F, optimal value for F in the previous stage. So there's F. Let's go up to F here. Its optimal value, there are two values here. The highest one was 26, so we're going to add 26. So it's 13 plus 26. That gives us 39. Uh, let's see, CG then, we want to end up at G. So let's have a look at G up here. It had three values. The optimal value here is 33, so we're going to add 33 to 5. That's 38. And C, H, we're going to end up at H, and the optimal value for H is 34. So we're going to add 34 to 16, and that gives us 50. Okay, so that's C done, and the uh, optimal value here, the largest value here is 50. So we're going to put a, a star here at 50. Okay, so let's look at the final vertex then, D. And let's see, we have... DG and DH, DG and DH, so DG and DH go here, destination is G and H, so let's see, the value of DG is 14, and the value of DH, 22, so let's see what we add to these two. Well, here we want to end up at G, so if we come up here to G from the previous stage, the optimal value there was 33. That's the one we have an asterisk next to. So we're going to add 33. That will give us 47. 
and dh then if we look at h here the optimal value is 34 so let's add 34 here 34 44 54 56 okay and the maximum there is 56 so let's put a star there okay so that's uh that's that phase stage number three let's have a look at stage number four then the final stage final stage then we just have the source this source node here which is at s so the actions then are going to be from s to a s to b s to c and s to d so let's write those in so we have s here and we want to go from s to a s to b s to c and s to d there's only one arc to each of these vertices so we've got a b C and D here. So the value of SA is 10, the value of SB 15, the value of SC is 5, and the value of SD 20. So let's see what we need to add to these. Okay, so we're looking at SA first, so let's go back up to A here. We had two values here. The um, maximum value here is 51, so let's add 51 to 10. That gives us 61. SB, so we want to go up to here to B. There are two values. The maximum value is 39. So let's add 39. That gives us 54. Let's see SC then. We have three values and the maximum value is 50 up here. So let's just add 50 to 5. Give us 55. And finally, then we have SD, and we have two values here. Uh, the maximum value is 56, so we're going to add 56 to 20. That will give us 76. Now, the maximum value from these four here is 76. So this is actually going to be the maximum number. Of, this is going to be our answer. This is going to be the maximum number of houses that the politician can actually visit. The route that she would take would be working forwards from S, we're going to go S to D, that's this one here because we have this one asterisked. If we look at D, it's going to be this one here, which is going to be DH. So we're going to put a H in here. And then looking at the next stage from H, there's only one value here that's asterisk, so it must be HK. So we've got to go to K here. And then K up here again only one value so it's 13 so it's kt so the route that she would take is from s to d k s d h k t so it's s down to d over to h then over to k and then over to t that will ensure that she visits the maximum number of houses now the total number of houses then the total the total number of houses then is going to be 76. And that's, that's really it for uh, this question and this example.